Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at the fascinating Pentax 75 EDHF. This telescope dates from about 1985. And this telescope was uh, made when ED telescopes were brand new. That's the ED in the name. Uh, and ED was a brand new kind of glass that had just come into existence, or come into use at least, in the last oh, five or ten years before this scope was developed. Um, fluorite and ED were quite revolutionary at the time. So this telescope was state-of-the-art. I mean, it was first class back in the day. And it still holds up well, even next to a modern ED glass, even though they've improved the glass, so forth, and so on. Uh, this still stands up quite well. It performs quite admirably right next to those. One of the most interesting things about this scope is that it also has a third glass element in it. It's got a doublet ED in the front. Back here, towards the middle somewhere, is a field flattener. Now this is technically not a Petzval design. In a Petzval, the, the third element would do more than just flatten the field. But in this scope, the field flattener is designed to make this into a photographic instrument. So uh, Pentax was always all about doing photography, and in this case, astrophotography. They wanted to get sharp stars all the way to the edge of a very large field of view. And that's what they were shooting for with this scope. And apparently that's what they got. This thing really delivers. These scopes are in high demand in Japan. They're uh, not extremely well known here in the United States. Those people that know about these are fanatical. Though. Pentax scopes are notorious for having uh, proprietary type designs for a lot of things. This, I have no idea what that is, but it's bigger than two inches. And it's designed for uh, some sort of a camera fitting, of course. These things here, that's a 965 there. This is some uh, oddball size. Being an amateur machinist is very handy because I can make this device. That slides in there. Now this is a 2-inch type of an adapter. This one, put this back in place. This is an inch and a quarter fitting here. So, I've sort of normalized it by making these fittings. This little thing here is also proprietary type design, Pentax only. Pentax are the only ones that use this kind of mount. It's got a screw hole here. There's your telescope finder adapter. So I made an adapter for that. This turns it into a standard Vixen kind of an adapter, which of course is not completely universal, but fairly universal. Now with uh, the correct adapter for a Takahashi to Vixen, I put a Takahashi 7 by 50 on this little scope. It's almost as big as the original scope. Looks a, a bit weird, but uh, wow, it sure works well. Here's something pretty unusual in this scope. This has a, a very fancy clamping device for the focuser. When you put the focuser out here, clearly this is designed for a nice big uh, camera of some sort to be attached back here. When you draw the, pull the draw tube out here, something like this, you get it focused, you can lock it down really tight with this device. That really cinches it down so your camera is not going to go anywhere. This mount is exactly the same one as shown in my Pentax 65 video. So um, I won't go through the demonstration here. Go watch that video if you're interested in the operation. It's very interesting. It's got springs in here. That'll, uh, that'll make you go watch that video. This scope came with a very nice aftermarket clock drive from Vixen. Let me show you how you put that on. First you take off the RA. Slide this on there. And of course match that up to the right location. Just cinch it down. The only function for this little pin here is to keep that from rotating when you activate the clock drive. So all you really have to do with this...
Now we're all set. Just plug in the hand control. Plug in the battery pack. We're all set. This is a very nice little clock drive. I've used it. It's quite effective. Here I've got everything I need. I've got uh, the whole Pentax mount scope in there, in the box. In here, in this little shoulder pouch, I've got the legs and some leg hardware. So let's put this up. Okay, when we open up, these are just some parts for the clock drive. In here we have the telescope, the mount, and right here is the triangle. Here's the counterweight. Some sorted little accessories. Knob. Clock drive. It's best to just take this out completely, like so. Now we have the mount. This is the finder. Set. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Pentax 75E DHF from about 1985. Thank you for watching.